Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Line Habitat Ranch. My name is Caroline. My partner over here is Megan. And the star of the show here is Ozzy. And we're actually doing a special painting demonstration right now because it is being live streamed on our streaming safari. And we just want to say hi to you guys. And hopefully you'll enjoy this painting session today. All right, Ozzy, let's get started. So Ozzy is a 16-foot reticulated giraffe. He is 16, or six years old, but believe it or not, he could keep growing. Ozzy has the potential to be 17 to 18 feet tall once he is seven years old, which means he's got maybe a foot or two more to grow. There we go. Good job, bud. Now Ozzy shows me he's ready to paint by sticking out that nice long tongue of his. It is what you call prehensile, which is just a really fancy word for grasping, like our hands. That's how he's able to bring that paintbrush into his mouth and hold it with his tongue and lips so that way he can go and do beautiful work on this hat today. Now you'll notice that is that really strange purple color. That's on purpose. Giraffes in the wild are awake 18 to 20 hours a day looking for food. So when your tongue is outside your mouth for that long, you really want to make sure it doesn't get sunburned. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so that purple color is a natural way for his body to prevent his tongue from getting sunburned. Because no amount of aloe vera, guys, is ever going to fix that sunburn. It's going to hurt. A good job right now. Now I did mention that these guys are awake 18 to 20 hours a day looking for food. That doesn't leave that much time to sleep. Can I hear any guesses to how long these guys actually sleep for? Four hours. Four hours less than that. Two hours. Less than that. Giraffes only sleep about 30 minutes to an hour a day. And that's not even all at once. Ooh, we're Giraffes the blue. take little micro naps and sleep standing up with their eyes wide open so that way predators like lions can't tell that they're sleeping. So if you see Ozzy just staring off in the distance not doing anything, he's taking a nap. You did a good job that time, that's why you're getting a lot. He's like, maybe. There you go. Now you're going to hear this clicking throughout this entire show. That is me telling Ozzy he's doing a great job and that he's going to get rewarded. You're only going to notice that I'm going to... When, my mic's going up. Oh, when he is actually painting. That's so that way in Ozzy's mind he's made the connection that, oh, I'm getting rewarded for painting. So that way this behavior stays strong and he, more people can enjoy this show for years and years to come. That's why I gave him a lot of treats on that last one because he just continuously decided to paint and he heard a lot of clicks. So he knew a lot of reward was coming. Now Ozzy doesn't work for free but he does work for veggies. Uh, giraffes are strict herbivores, so they only eat plant matter. In fact, if we try to go feed the lions before we come and uh, feed Ozzy, a lot of times they'll tell us, no, I smell the meat on your hands. Go wash your hands again, please. He can eat about 60 to 80 pounds of food a day, and he has a variety of veggies, lettuce, hay, uh, pellets that he can all munch on. And that's why we said he grew to be so tall, everybody, because he always ate his vegetables. Good job. Now giraffes are known for that very, very long neck of theirs. Can I hear any guesses to how many bones are in that neck? Actually, a little bit more than that. Uh, most mammals, including us and giraffes, have seven vertebras in our neck. His are obviously a lot larger than ours is. And they're configured like our shoulders and hips, so he has better mobility in them. Four. Uh, it's seven. 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 But we got four and three, so it makes seven. Yeah, so you, you guys together were correct. All right. He's doing a really good job on this hat. Now, Ozzy does have a very cool job being our painting giraffe here on property, but he also has a pretty serious role as well. Ozzy is what you call a wildlife ambassador because he's here representing all the, uh, all the giraffes that are in the wild right now because unfortunately they're going through a bit of a tough time. Over the past 20 years, subpopulations of giraffes have decreased by up to 80%. And that's due to us destroying their habitat and also illegally poaching them. So Ozzy's just here to remind you guys that giraffes are amazing animals. We should do everything in our power to keep them or their home safe. And that the only appropriate way to shoot a giraffe is with a camera. We'll do one more stroke. We'll keep these uh, sessions short and sweet so that way they end on a positive note. So that way Ozzy knows that he does a good job painting. There we go. He got right where you wanted, Megan. He did a good job. 
Give him one more big handful of green beans right here. Now, if you guys enjoyed the way he painted that hat, why don't you give him a round of applause? Yeah. They liked it, Oz. Why don't you take a bow? There we go. Good job, bud. Now, if you guys are interested in looking at Ozzy's already finished artwork, we have a ton of it in our gift shop, and you can actually purchase it, just like this family did with their t-shirt. They're going to get a picture with the artist right now. We appreciate you guys coming out. We will have bird chat along this walkway right here at 1045. Didn't want that green bean. And then we also want to thank those who tuned into our live stream and enjoyed Ozzy's painting demonstration today.